Contingency Plan for Dr. Doom, Victor Von Doom. Subject, Victor Von Doom. Origin, Latveria. Classification, Human, with extensive mystical and technological enhancements. Power Set, Genius Intellect, Master of both Science and Sorcery, Technologically Advanced Armor, Diplomatic Immunity, Access to Vast Resources and Control of His Own Nation. Psychological Profile, Arrogant, Narcissistic, Relentless, Motivated by a Belief in His Superiority, Dangerous Levels of Ambition. Threat Level, Global, Potentially Multiversal. Introduction Victor Von Doom is unlike any foe I've faced, a man who wields intellect, magic, and machinery with equal mastery. He's a sovereign ruler, a sorcerer, and a genius inventor. But what makes him truly dangerous isn't just his powers, it's his mind. Doom's greatest weapon is his belief that he is the only one fit to rule the world, perhaps the universe. A contingency plan for Doom must account for more than his physical strength or his technology. It must address his mind, his ego, and his belief in his own infallibility. Doom can be beaten, but not easily. He's too prepared for that. Surveillance and Intelligence Gathering 1 Constant Monitoring of Latveria Doom controls his nation, but no country is impenetrable. Satellite surveillance, covert operatives, and advanced AI systems constantly monitor his activities. Latveria is shielded, but I have ways of bypassing those defenses. Any movement of Doom's armies, shifts in diplomatic policy, or technological advancements, I'll know about them before they happen. Doom thrives on secrecy, but I can't allow that luxury. 2. Magical Countermeasures Doom's knowledge of magic rivals some of the greatest mystics in existence. To prepare, I've studied under some of the world's best. Zatanna, Dr. Fate, they've all helped me craft spells and wards that protect against magical attacks and intrusion. Doom may think his mystical abilities give him an edge, but I've already accounted for that. Psychological Warfare 1. Exploiting Doom's Ego. Doom's greatest weakness isn't his armor or his magic, it's his arrogance. He sees himself as superior to everyone, including the gods. He believes he can't be outsmarted, can't be beaten. That arrogance blinds him. Doom underestimates those who he deems unworthy. I can use that. I can play into his sense of superiority, manipulate his pride, and make him overreach. Doom can be lured into traps because he doesn't believe anyone can trap him. 2. The Latverian People Doom sees himself as the savior of Latveria, a benevolent ruler in his own eyes. But the people don't always see it that way. They fear him, but they don't love him. If I can turn public sentiment against him, even in small pockets it will distract him, weaken his hold. Doom believes Latveria is loyal, but loyalty can be bought or inspired by fear. And fear is fragile. Tactical Confrontation 1. Technological Countermeasures. Doom's armor is one of the most advanced pieces of technology in the world. Powered by his intellect and enhanced with mystical defenses, it's nearly impenetrable. Nearly. I've studied his armor's designs and battle reports. Weak points have been identified, energy consumption nodes, material composition flaws, and potential overload points in its fusion reactor. If I need to disable Doom, I'll target his armor first. He hides behind it, so breaking it down will force him to rely on more desperate measures. 2. EMP and Hacking Protocols Doom's reliance on technology is an asset I can exploit. EMPs designed specifically to bypass his shielding, combined with advanced hacking programs developed in the Batcave, will allow me to neutralize his technology temporarily. I've prepared virus systems capable of infiltrating even Latvian firewalls. If I can weaken his defenses from the inside, Doom will lose his edge. Third, Magical Disruption Doom is as much a sorcerer as he is a scientist. I've acquired mystical artifacts, including the Amulet of Agamotto and ancient relics from my time training with the League of Assassins. These artifacts are designed to counteract Doom's sorcery. 
I won't rely on magic alone, but I'll have it as a last line of defense if his spells grow too powerful to handle physically. Containment and Neutralization 1. Isolation Protocol Doom is not just a man, he's a ruler. Taking him down means severing his connection to Latveria and his power base. I've developed protocols to isolate Doom politically and militarily. Economic sanctions, exposing illegal activity, and covert destabilization will cut him off from the resources he needs to operate at full strength. Without Latveria, Doom is just one man. A dangerous man, but one without an empire to back him. 2. Diplomatic Immunity Doom hides behind his title of sovereign ruler. His diplomatic immunity shields him from consequences. But I've prepared contingencies to remove that shield. Exposing Doom's clandestine activities on an international scale will force even the United Nations to reconsider their stance. Diplomatic immunity can be revoked. And when it is, Doom will lose one of his greatest protections. Third, prison designed for Doom. If it ever comes to that, I've prepared a specialized containment facility, isolated from both technological and magical interference, built beneath the Earth's surface, shielded by both lead and mystical wards. This prison would be impenetrable to Doom's abilities. Once inside, he'll be powerless, his magic and technology rendered useless. But getting him there will be the real challenge. Contingency protocols ensure that even if he escapes, I'll know about it before he can regroup. Countering Doom's Strategic Alliances 1. Neutralizing his allies. Doom doesn't operate in isolation. He has allies in both the magical and scientific realms, individuals and entities that would come to his aid if threatened. Contingency plans are in place for each of them. Whether it's sorcerers from the darker dimensions or technologically advanced collaborators, I prepared dossiers and countermeasures for each. Doom will find himself alone, cut off from the support he's built. 2. Latveria's military might. Doom's control over his nation's military is absolute, but that can be subverted. I've worked with international forces, covert operatives, and resistance movements to destabilize Latveria's military infrastructure. When the time comes, I can shut down his defense systems, grounding his air force and disabling his ground troops. Doom's military might is formidable, but it's nothing compared to the coordinated effort of global forces. Ethical Considerations 1. The line I won't cross. Doom is dangerous, but he's not beyond redemption. My plan is not to kill him, but to contain him, neutralize him, and if possible, force him to see the consequences of his actions. Doom's ego will never allow him to admit defeat, but there's always a chance, however slim, that he can be reformed. I won't take the easy way out, because Doom is still human. Flawed, but human. 2. Minimizing collateral damage. Doom's actions often put innocent lives at risk. Any engagement with him must prioritize minimizing harm to civilians, both in Latveria and globally. I won't let innocence pay the price for Doom's ambition. My plans are designed with precision, to target him directly without causing widespread destruction. Conclusion Victor Von Doom is a complex threat. His combination of intellect, magic, and political power makes him one of the most dangerous adversaries I've ever faced. But like all men, Doom has weaknesses. His arrogance, his reliance on technology, and his obsession with power. My contingency plan is comprehensive, covering every facet of his abilities and resources. Should Doom ever cross the line, I'll be ready. I am the Knight. I am Vengeance. I am Batman. And I come prepared.